Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to part three of not the Outer Wilds. It's the Outer Worlds. It's also not Starfield Shattered Space. That looks like oil. That looks like oil. Hello, Saint. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Robert. Welcome, welcome. What the heck am I doing? I know, right? I'm not supposed to be here today. I work today. I'm being a rebel. I got home from work. It was like hours to play video games. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's 6.48 a.m. On Saturday, the 5th of uh, October. I was going to say August. Well, October 2024. Also... I was sort of like, I should record some potion craft for today. Which is why the Vodlings didn't get potion craft on Sunday, just gone. Or maybe they did. Maybe I've recorded it since then. But I uh, probably didn't. And they got the first episode of this instead. Oh well. What's this? Insert captain's identification cartridge when you shut remote loading. No. Oh. Don't want to. But yeah. Vending machine discovered. What is this? Board approved, board sponsored, board mandated by now. And taste the freedom of space's choice. Now with extra added artificial ingredients at no extra cost. Oh, extra? What do we got? They got Adreno. What's the price on it? 50. Okay, 730, hey? Uh I don't know. I don't really know what's worth selling. We'll have to we'll have to check that. What's in this one? Oh, bullets and things. I see, I see. So we got a few guns, we got what's this? Ooh, son of shotgun, very nice. Some mods. Like old axe. Cool. Mr. Power melee weapon. Oh, I thought that was a rifle. Changes the damage type. The plasma damage. Hmm, okay. Locked. Restricted stock. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's more here. This one's not even switched up. TNL. Simply the best. Oh, different guns. Right, so they specifically sell TNL weapons. Man, this is so very Borderlands. And I love it. I love it. Sorry, my internet had a little stroke. Did you explain anything after you said that you were being a rebel? Um, I worked today and then I was sort of like, i not falling asleep. Which is funny because I was falling asleep at work, which is not a good thing. Um, but then uh, I was like, oh, I've got a little bit of energy. I feel like playing video games. Probably should have played Potion Craft, but I wanted to play this. That's why. That's why the Vodlings didn't get Potion Craft yesterday. Uh, Ordnance Control Armor. Riot control armor. Okay. So is this... So that's medium armor. Hold on. Let's filter it. Let's filter it a bit. Go with just armor. So we've got... Bought by something else. A value, I guess. Yeah, okay. That's 10 because it's medium. 17 because it's heavy, but it doesn't come with a stat bonus. And then... These two are the same. And they are what? Medium with melee weapon skills. And slightly less, but it has hack skills. And then this one is... Light armor. With stealth skills. Interesting. Okay. Cool. But these stim packs, well, Adreno, sorry, are very, very expensive. 
And I'm just not ready to make that kind of commitment. But old mate wants us to go to the bar to find our to find to find our uh I can steal okay. stuff, right? Keep him quiet. He doesn't seem to care. Space is Corona? What's that? What space is Corona? Oops. Gone. Hey man, go away. I'm just over here using a workbench and stuff. Alright, what do we got? Breakdown. You don't have any direct doubles. What's this? Tossball stick. Telescoping staff. Shovel. Different tossball stick. 58. 58. Why aren't you sorted by name? Hmm. I don't think it shows what you've got equipped. Maybe we need to equip our best stuff. Let's equip our best stuff, and then we can have an idea of what we're doing. So... Revolver, light pistol, a bolter pistol. Hmm. Oh, it highlights like what type of ammo they use too. That's kind of cool. Right. Armor-wise, we got that stuff. I think we broke a lot of it down last time. So many different things to do. So many different things. And some mods. Self-patching reduces armor de degradation. That's cool. All right. You need to leave. Oh, you need to leave. What's not nailed down? Oh, just grab it. Easy. Stuff. I thought he turned around and came back way quicker than this last time. Where's he gone? Hello? Oh, here he comes. Come on. That's the way. Off you go. Beautiful. I didn't open that. Did we get anything cool? I didn't even look. I don't know how stealing works. We got another pistol. And... I feel like we grabbed more than... We got an LMG, did we? Oh, that's alright. Okay. And another assault rifle. Okay, well, I can break that down at least. Need weapon parts to repair my other things. We got computer hacks, armor repairs, mag picks, weapon parts. These are quest items. That's a geothermal passcode twice, because why not? Because why not? Yeah, we'll break that down. Break that down. What does that mean? What does the bolt on it mean? Improvised weapon. It's made from digging dirt, but you can also swing it into faces. No. That's not what that means, right?
Does it mean I get more parts from it? Or does it mean it's used for something else? Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. But he wants us to find a weapon behind the toilet in the bar. So let's go and find the bar. And then, if we're feeling spicy, find the toilet. And only then, if we could muster all our strength. New Night All of Gondor. Find the gun that is behind said toilet. Mushroom. Ah. Didn't even look at what that was. Too excited. Too excited just to press take on everything. Mine, 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 mine. I can pick this now. Whoop. Nice. Okay. I need some stuff. Having a whole button to transfer between places, I'm really gonna have to get used to. Yeah, it's just it looks like it's just lacrosse. Wait. Journal? No. Secret weapon. Yes. Also, I downloaded Starfield. I uninstalled it today. <laughs> I didn't really. Okay. We must go to pub. You think corporate's ever gonna visit? Probably not. I I'm not you exist. Out hope. Descent is in our midst. I was about to come over there. Hey, look, you've been in transit how many times? Two whole cans of salt tuna. Into the pub. I do like that the buildings are sort of like you go into the town through the gates, and then all the buildings are open. I don't. I have. I, mm, I don't know if that to me is like better than like the town itself being on the map, but all the buildings are load zones. I feel like it's better to have them open and just have the gates as load zones because then you only load once and you're running around. As opposed to if you're in town, you're seeing like 27 loading screens as you run between buildings. You're not a big drinker, are you? Why? No problem? You'll do it? Go on then. The latest report. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure there is. We can have another zero G. Is that? I don't get a lot of visitors. Staying long? Hmm. Hello. I don't know you. Okay, that's a good greeting. They say hello to people, I guess. Nice to meet you too. Everyone's so friendly and welcoming in this town. We don't welcome trouble. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Yeah? Why, is something going on here I should know about? <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah. We've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. <sighs> Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Yeah, yeah, Reed mentioned those guys. <sighs> Traitors, the lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, 
Enough about them. What can I do for you? Uh, I'll have a drink first. Coming right up. It wasn't in the back of your head, I hope. So, mind attributes for 30 seconds. Personality attributes. 30 seconds, but also a hangover. Body attributes. 30 seconds. Ingredients, 99% water. Plain and pure water. Plain and pure water, but it's only 99% pure. It's crisp, it's delicious, it's nutritious, it's water. Now with 11% more natural water flavoring. <laughs> yeah, alright. Just let me figure out how Australian addresses work, because I couldn't figure it out when I was filling out the posting form. Ah, they're tricky. Mind attributes when you need to go when you need to go on for just a couple more hours. The two hour energy brew. Each tea bag contains the finest natural and artificial flavors for the perfect cup of tea. You know, not tea. Fine. We get a 9% discount. That's all right. Just got drinks. She can fix things, but it's not cheap. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Yay. We'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. Good. Let's just have a chat. Go ahead. So. What's your story? I don't see how that's any of your business. Oh, that's lovely. That's nice. I mean, I'm, I'm no, I'm no, I'm not, I, I don't, I... You, um, so, me, you, I, I don't really, look, I, I'm bored. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's work spacer's choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. Disabused? Fuck is disabused. So what what do you mean? So you wanted to be a scientist and then what? What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like, when are you going to pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero-G? Wow, that sounds... fulfilling. But I mean, it's kind of science in a way. Asking questions is, is, is like... The whole thing of science is about finding out things you don't know. The best scientists are the ones that ask far too many questions. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. I mean, you're basically a chemist. Right. What you it's what you're doing. And you've been scrubbing dishes, dishes your whole life? What's wrong with that? It's good honest work. What's wrong with it? Hands don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Right. I mean, it sounds like Space's Choice took you in, took care of you. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. Oh, well, thank you for the story. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. Right. So, what's your story? I forgot you're a bartender. Um, look, I'm still trying to figure that out myself, to be honest. What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. Mm. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo.
I don't work for a company. You're one of those freelancers then? Running about Halcyon, selling off your loyalties to the highest bidder? Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. No, it's not, it's not quite like that. Like, what if I told you... <sighs> that there was this dude with crazy hair. And then I fell out of space and I squashed a guy. And then I talked to a robot that insisted that I was somebody else. And then oh, she's lost interest. Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. Right. Well. Yeah, I'm not I'm not joking. I fell out of a colony ship in a space pod and crushed a guy. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there, and I cannot tell you which I revile more. Oh, you can. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Mm, fair enough. How's the game so far, by the way? Ah, oh, shit, I hate it. Don't think I'll get past five minutes. No, I love it. I think it's great. I just, I love, I love, it's very, it's very fun. Like, writing-wise, it's a lot of fun. Almost sounds like you're a little bit scared to go outside. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. I imagine you'd want to get out of town with the plague and all. Keep it down, will you? We don't talk about the P-L-A-Y-G-E. Not here. And if you're smart, you won't mention it anywhere. I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. You spelled plague wrong. Like, pretty bad. That's fine. I'm assuming that spelling isn't a big thing for you guys. Are you okay, Jack? You seem to be more sarcastic than usual. Are you tired? I've been in customer service mode all day. So, it's good to be home. Old plague. Yep, exactly. Well, thank you, Amelia. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to go. All right. Uh, where can I shit? Just anywhere or you have a room for it? This way? Mm, that's not it. I'm a bartender now. Hmm. Ludwig's secret bundle in Bashroom. Bashroom! Hmm. Pick the lock. When you see a lock, you can't pick it. <laughs> Making choices of what I have to, like, lock pick? I'm not. I don't know if I like. I just. Mm. I think I need to level up lock picking because I think there's perks in lock picking that are like. Well, you can. You can change stuff and make it so that you do. Can you fucking not? I clean this place out. It's amazing. I don't have to sneak for shit. Because they don't have a little like stolen hand logo on them, which I've been, I've been playing. What's the last one that I?
I guess Starfield you can steal stuff, but I don't do much in that. But Kingdom Come Deliverance. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Boy. Kingdom Come Deliverance and that's a lot of that's mold. Why is it all around the toilet? Like the shower, I'm like, okay, there's water. But this is not this is mm -mm. This is the upstairs bathroom too. This isn't even like the patron one. Gross. Jeez. Does a bit cartridge just money? I'm assuming it is. I should have read it. Should have read it. I didn't. Not a peep for me. Just here down from the street. Hi. Yeah, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, stealing in that. You're not even safe if you don't get caught. Because then 10 minutes later you run around Rautai and they're like, Can I search your pockets please, sir? We've had reports of you stealing shit. Uh... Is it... Is it... Is it bedtime for everybody, is it? Okay, bye. I've been to the general store already, right? Because she's not allowed in there. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. <gasps> don't worry. Plague bearer. Do Plague. Plague. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Hey. No, no plague for me. I don't want my gun back out. Go away. Why did it bring me out this door? Edgewater Keemtery. Keem What's a Keemtery? Terminal access. Welcome, Junior Inhuma. From the Inhumers Association. A Spaces Choice property. From Inhumers Association. To. Basis Choice, Junior and Humor, Emerald Veil Division. Subject, a special offer. Dear Reader, your subscription to the Inhumors Association newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Shovel's Gazette and Quarterly. Ah, okay. Hey, you get out of here, bot. You go away. From Spaces Choice Human Resources to Spaces Choice Junior and Humor Emerald, Emerald Vale Division. Official advertisement text. <laughs> Edgewater Cemetery is a property of Spaces Choice of the Spaces Choice Company. The Spaces Choice family takes care of its own. From the cradle to the grave. Gravesite plots and headstones are provided by Spaces Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable, spacious plots. Custom engraved headstones and monograms. Complimentary eulogy courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. Let your spirit rest in the privacy of a Spaces Choice brand gravesite. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, inventory logs. Burial invoice. Password required. Um, hack one. Okay, that's just done. Theodore Granger, industrial accident. Successfully interred in gravesite 13F. Paid and accounted. Teddy's corpse was missing a hand. Deducted five bits from gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. Ah, oh, it's nice of you. Mine. This. Oh, that's what I got to look out for as well. Is the drawers open? Bracelet. Magnum. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. How many bits have I got? 8.43. 8.53. Okay, so it's just it's just straight up money. I don't have five. I don't need five for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Javels. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's not coming in here. Just take him, mate. Oh, what's this? Early retirement. Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of Byzantium? Early retirement is finally here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. Selection for the early retirement process is by lottery. Winners enjoy an all-expenses-paid trip to their new life in Byzantium, the jewel of Halcyon. Yeah, they say everything there is automated. So I'm assuming many, many robots. Uh, I don't know if it is going to be... It's not even a real window. The windows aren't even real windows. This isn't even a window. It's it's a pretend window. It's just to look like a window from the outside. That's wild. This one, the window's actually been ripped off. That's wild. That's so weird. I suppose I shouldn't. I didn't even notice that. Like, there's no. Yeah. But it's literally they're just attached to give the illusion of it. That's crazy. Can I dig you guys up? That'd be pretty funny. Can I do that? Is that a thing? Not just a suit and a deck of cards anymore. Yeah, that's it. Um, Take you down. I'll put you up. I dig. <laughs> no. Uh, dig. No. Hmm. How tricky... Oh, stupid. All right. Oh, this one's lit up. Employer rights. Wage terminated by merit of your work. What? Lifetime net value, 8,112 bits. But, what? Do you have your net value on your tombstone? Why are they caged? Did people go grave digging or are they afraid that they're going to escape? And these ones have stone ones on top. I'm not sure which one's worse. I guess it's to stop grave diggers? Lifetime net value, 4,289 bits. Okay, well, that's our goal, is to get to a few thousand. A few thousand, so we're good. This one's green. Why are you green? Why do you look fancy? Hmm. This one's on, too. Weird. And a mausoleum. Can't go in there. Okay. I'm just going to do a full lap around town and then we'll go talk to old mate. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What's that noise? Is this a locked door? Is this the one that I came to before and was like, I want to pick that. Easy. Oh, in. Ba -da 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 Ooh. I'll take your Adreno. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Bit of ammo. More Adreno. Ah, bathroom. Riot control helmet, hey? Hmm. Bunch of parts. I'm gonna equip her with stuff too, right? Oops, I keep pressing the wrong thing. The companion ledger. This companion ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companions. You can see their skills, stats, status effects, and gear. To change your companion's gear, first select the item you want to swap out. Then choose a compatible item to replace it with. You can also change how they behave in combat by selecting their preferred weapon, follow distance, and aggressiveness. Okay. 
Interesting. Stuff doesn't degrade for them too, which is kind of cool. Basis choice, light pistol. Basis choice, light pistol. Oh no, it is degrading. So... I'll give her that one instead. I don't think it has 8 damage. This one's got a mod in it. Magnum, magazine size, plus 50%. Okay. I want that one. He's not good with pistols anyway. What are your stats? What do you have? Oh. Distance. Medium mixed aggressive. Uh. No. Stay close. Weapon. Primarily attacks with melee. We'll switch between melee and range. Weapons based on the distance. Only attacks with range. Okay. Only attacks targets the companion has been told to. Once sold to attack the target, the companion continues to fight until combat is over. The companion always engages in attacks when the player enters combat. Yeah, I'll leave it in aggressive for now. Level 4, helmet armor rating. Melee, ranged, etc. So she has persuade, lockpick, and engineering. Okay. Oh, you can get perks for him too. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. So... What do we got? <laughs> Increase your engineering skill when Pavati's in the party. Decrease the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them less likely to attack this companion. Increase the amount of threat that they generate when attacking enemies, making them less more likely to attack this companion. Wouldn't it be a shame if you accidentally spent points on both? And give them more health. Hmm. I think I like the more points in engineering. These ones are probably generic, I would assume. Just because the thing on the right is like different. Wait, hold on, what's my helmet? Sixteen or four. I will keep the goodest one. But you, you may have the shittier one. Showing me the me damage. But I give you this. Actually, hold on, let's just... Oh, I can't unequip him. Oh, fun. Because that's a 28, but it's not. 55 for the impact hammer. That's pretty badass. 50, 36, 28, 36. Yeah, okay. You can keep that. That's 22 damage. 28 by 3 for the bolter. Hmm. Give it that. Yeah, that's the way. Give it a good one. And then... I can break these down, right? Hold on. Sort them. Yeah. This one, if I break it down... I like a bolt. I just don't know what that is. I wish I did. Okay. Cool. Free stuff. So, ooh. Huh? Oh. Oh, they're rabid. Ah! I only learned too late. Ooh. Good job.
machine a bunch of weapons. Get your ammo or bunch of healums mods stuff in the lead by. All right, let's um. I really didn't like the revolver. Really didn't like the revolver. Still that too. And... Pristine, so it should sell for more, right? That's how that works. Still that too. Ah, it's gone. Um... Range weapon spread, weapon sway. Oh. Water tablets. Everybody's favorite afternoon snack. Water tablets. Hack. Hack has been hacked. Personal files. Ideas for salt unit ta light taglines. Melts on your fork, not in your mouth. Less fat with some salt tuna flavor. It's brine time. Now with the satisfying crunch of cartilage. You can't spell salt tuna without salt. You also can't spell salt tuna without ants. Potential market towards families? Leading scientists say, it's still food. The salt tuna will thank you. Warning, may cause auditory hallucinations. To Mr. Thompson from L. Gibbs in the marketing division. Hey boss, just wanted to check up on the new Salt Tuna Light project. I've been brainstorming some new taglines to the product line and I think uh, some of them might really catch our customers' attention. From R. Thompson to L. Gibbs. Dear Lawrence, I appreciate your hard work on behalf of our brand of our beloved brand of Salt Tuna, but uh, I've just received a response from corporate. They're not interested in your idea of a light version of the Saltuna brand, because we'd rather not compete with ourselves. But they are interested in the idea of lighter Saltuna. Effective immediately, we've been instructed to use heavier weighted cans so we can pack them with less Saltuna, thereby saving bits to every can. This is exactly the kind of breakthrough our cannery needs. In fact, our logistics department has just confirmed my request to have you transferred from the marketing division to the cannery. Can you imagine, Lawrence? You'll be rubbing elbows with your fellow workers on the canning line. Filling each slightly heavier can with slightly less tuna, hour after hour, day after day. This is a great and tremendous honor for you and for me. Effective immediately, your position in our marketing division has been terminated. I expect you to report to our foreman tomorrow morning. Your uniform will be deducted from your pay. Welcome to the team. Wow, I hate it. Sick motivational skills? Yeah, pretty much. It's like, oh... Oh, okay. All right, I want to check something. I need I need to test something. Is this... Okay, so it does. It does let you try and pick the door instead if you don't... I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Unlock. Balcon, yay, unlocked. I should get, get some of that. Oops. It's X to do everything in this. <laughs> stuff. I do like stuff. Probably some of my favorite things are stuff. Whoop. Mr. Ouch. Increases the damage dealt from a power attack. Oh. Okay. It's 
The real treasure is the friends we made along the way. And how much of our actual treasure we made them carry. <laughs> ah, my leg. I want to go around the city, but this looks like it's like blocked off. We go this way? What's all this? What is this? What is that? Oh, they're building new houses. I guess they're building new houses. Like a loading area. Haha! Ah. Door. Basil Joyce. Hmm. This is where we found Jeremy. This is where he lived. Hello, why are you still here? Self-diagnostics initiated. Please do not disturb. Okay. I love these kind of rock formations. I can't remember what it is. Is it basalt? Or something? Whoa. Here they come. Ah. Bad puppy. Don't mess with us. You smashing them. Think so? Yeah, I can't I can't remember what it is. I can't remember what it is. I wish I could. But uh I, I feel like I feel like it's basalt. Off the top of my head. But it could it could be something else. Mm -mm. Okay, that's that's an invisible wall. They're probably like, what are you doing? Why are you trying to jump in the lava like a weirdo? And be like, I'm not weird, you're weird, see? Sometimes. Ah! Ow. My ankles. Explode out of my body. The sort of barrenness of it and the low hills, like, it feels very old school. Like, it just, and I, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that it feels like that. Like it's almost like um, it almost feels like a little a little bit like Astrid Nia. Weirdly, I've been in here, haven't I? Maybe, yeah, I've. Cause there's fucking nothing here. Hey, bud, I found your shit. Bring us honor, soldier. No, I brought you weapon. And your package. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed hmm? to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. How do I use it exactly? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Oh. I've come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Hmm. Hey, look, mate. I've already got the passcode. 
I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. Yeah, about that. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. It's not anatomically speaking. Uh, whatever. It's, <laughs> it's not how that works. So how am I supposed to get one? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Pavati, do you know anything about finding one of these? I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you okay. can put hands to. Engineering, Computers not robotics. And mechanical brains are outside my ken. Yep, yep, yep. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. Don't worry, I'll shoot her. So what are you planning once we get a logic thing? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. Yeah? A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. No way. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. But Edgewood is in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Like, how are you contacting people? Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't oh. know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. That's not grammar. You just, that's, that's a... It's not a grammar thing. You lied. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Thank you. I wouldn't... wouldn't necessarily waste everything. I might have some questions for you. Go on. What do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. This place has driven you insane over the years. All right. Well, I'll leave you be for now. Actually, no, one more thing. Go on. What do you have against mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculus. So you just don't like being around them. I'm pretty sure that's what they're supposed to do, though. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. By who? They've been programmed to replace us. By who? First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Uh-huh, sure. Well, anyway, I'll leave you be. Your companions leveled up and can be granted a new perk. Go to the companion page in your ledger and select the perk button to see the available perks. Okay. Hey, hello. You're very close, aren't you? Bavardi? Yeah, I'm going to pick a special one. I'm not going to worry about, like, healing and shit. This one is increase your chance of looting mods when Bavardi's in the party. That's cool. Or... More melee damage, more armor rating, more range damage. Yeah, these are all generic. Hmm. Ah! Uh, apply. Yes. Bonus support engineering. Yeah, it is. And I leveled up too, yeah? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Alright, so... And the lockpicking's garbage. Doors and containers requiring one mag pick to unlock or free to open. That's cool. Find more bits. See what's inside locked containers. See, that'd be nice. Lockpicking is increased to be nearly instant. Pristine item chance is 100%. First item in every locked container which is free to open can be stolen without consequence. Eh. Uh... Science is this okay? Ups your science weapons and also tinkering. Engineering is repairing weapons and items. Huh. 
Okay. The whole companions gain stuff is sort of like, eh. Alright, well. Unlock access to restricted items and vending machines. Yeah, so let's put two points in that so that we can access restricted items and vending machines. And then... So then we get sneak attack enemies while crouched to do bonus damage. And doors and containers that require one are free to open. And then... Okay, so I have, I have a bunch of points in long guns. I should use a long gun then. Rather than pistols. Um... What does it go up to? Dodge distance. Interesting. Hmm. Flying. Intimidating. Um, two in there. And... I guess. I guess let's chuck a couple in here. For now. We didn't get a perk point because it's an odd numbered level. Botched. You can botch quests. Ooh, Codex. No, Codex terrifying. I come back to Codex another time. What do we have selected? What are we supposed to be doing? I'm so lost. Alright, so he wants us to go to the logic module at the geothermal plant. I, I guess we could do that, but let's see what else we got. Frighten Engineer. Thomas knows he knows about three different volumes. Max says the journal was last possessed by a book collector whose residence was part of a small community directly north of Edgewater. It's been marked on your map. Let's do that. Let's go and find the book for the priest. So in the last one, we met the, uh, the priest of the church. The Church of Law. And uh, he was talking about a book that he wants us to get and delete. This is long guns. I should probably just like switch to rifle, shouldn't I? Rifle's going to be better than pistol. It's gotta be. I like the fact that our stamina is not draining. Very nice. Being able to just run. Abandoned outpost discovered. Hello? Hello? Everybody around? No? This is... 
Gaffe. Charge restoring an amount of bits used as currency in colonies. Bits are an electronic currency generated by room sized uh, generated by room sized Earth Directorate mini frames back on Earth. They consist of non duplicatable codes and ciphers and can be transferred from one cartridge to another. So they're Bitcoin. So the currency the currency in Outer Worlds is Bitcoin. That's kind of funny. More weapon parts. Ooh. Music box. Plays the happy sisty pig. Okay. Don't know what that is, but I guess it's something that we can access or use or it might be a quest item, I don't know. Alright. I know it's probably not in this house. Here's the waypoints over there. So I'm going to... Bathroom. Okay. Can I get in any other ones on this side? That one. You can probably get up to the balcony, maybe. Hop in. Jump. Frozen dinner all in one. Fried chicken, mashed spectrum potatoes, and spiced mock apples. It's a bestseller. Gross. Also, why is it on a shelf? It's like frozen food. Never freeze. Hmm. Looks like Turkish delight. I'm a sucker for like Turkish delight, as uh, like dipped in chocolate. There's a there's one you can get here. I don't know how widespread it is around the world. I don't know where it's from. I don't know if it's Australian or if it's from somewhere else. We just sell it here, but it's done by a company called Fries. They're like the Turkish delight company. Clement Eldridge, available messages from J Bartel. Turkish delight. In chocolate, so instant diabetes. Oh, mate, it's amazing. Your theories. Clement, I must disagree with your theories about the Earth Directorate's place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Halcyon and all the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war... would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves if the Earth Directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the ma mandated inclusion of an Earth Minister if they had a choice in the matter? Jefferson. From Clement to Jefferson. Spirit of Adventure. Jefferson. Of course I'd never dispute that Earth is uh, in the heart of the whole colonial system. But the real adventure, an independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrives is to be found out here among the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history, though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave Earth the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high costs of the Great War left them in a weakened state, and the skip drive was simply the extra leverage the Directorate needed to return to power. Okay. It's a cool story. Um, That's good. Yeah, took us a lot. Oh, amazing. I go in here. No. Ding. The collector's letter. I just got a letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. I don't want those books mouldering in some contraband locker. So I stashed them all away in my cave by the river. Oh, good. That's, the, that's a great place for it to go where there's not going to be mould.
I just, I'm a big fan of how dumb people are in this game. <clears throat> Bashful. Got anything cool up here? Basement two. <laughs> just little shit all over the place like that. It's just, it just makes me happy. Aww. Ah, uh, that's funny. You right back there? Alright, let's head to the cave then. Ding 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 Um. Hello, Cav. The illustrated menu. This cave's pretty. Quiet in there. Hmm, interesting. Okay. That's a landmine. That's a landmine. Can I dismantle things? I don't think so. Hello? They've got to be on top. Big old stash. Big old safe. That is free. Nice. Journal of M. Baku. Ow. That one hurt really badly. I don't even know what changed. going to him, but are you going to make me walk through the city? Ah! My legs. Here you are. I don't want to walk through the city. I want to run around the city. I run around the city. And then... <laughs> then we'll be sweet. Oh, you're running. <sighs> Let's get into that time of day. Everything's so like false. It's just like it's it's there, but it's all like, well, we don't want to give them that. So what can we do? I don't know. Let's have them have lights that strap on the outside of their house, and then charge them to turn them on and off. Hey man, you'll come out here. Bring us honor, soldier. Yeah, man. Sure thing. Uh. It wasn't him, it was the priest. That's why I had to go inside the city. I'm dumb. How long have you been screaming? The book was for the priest, not for the guy on the thing. Because it was. And you didn't tell me. 
You didn't say a word. For a second from a distance, I was like, C-3PO? Like the gold and the glowing art. Yeah, it's anyway. Excuse me, Mr. Priest, sir. Mr. Churchman. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Yeah, man. Got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. Settle down. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. What? Wait, what? I mean... You're kind of overreacting a little bit, aren't you? Over... Overreacting? Do you have any idea how many years I spent in... <laughs> no. You couldn't possibly know, could you? I don't even know where you I've spent, spent it. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. Mm. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. It was a few hundred meters away. A few hundred meters away in a place that you told me that it was. It wasn't even behind a locked door or anything. I mean... Why do you think the book held the secrets that you were looking for? Specifically this book. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. I thought you said the School of Farts. Not... yeah, anyway. Um... What's a philosophist? Like, not a philosopher, a philosophist. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. Ah. Uh. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. They mount movements and move mountains? Okay, well, I mean, a vicar searching for banned books, it's a pretty bad example, doesn't it? The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior, and... That's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Oh. I mean... What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, eh. someone to watch your back, eh. not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand, if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Hmm. So... That's all part of your vicar training. You know, hacking and melee and stuff. Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. Right. Are you even a vicar? Or is it just that you've led multiple lives? Because you don't sound particularly vicarly. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. 
But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Right. Oh, sounds good. Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Sounds good. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Yeah, well, I gotta get a thing. I'll meet you on the ship when you're ready to depart from Emerald Vale, Captain. Okay. I mean, okay. You could come with me now. Okay, no, he's got a pack and shit. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. You probably want to make None it quick. Above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of... Hmm. Nothing else in here. Just a big room. Okay. Oops. There's that one. There's the three volumes. There's the grave matter. And it wants us to go to the geothermal plant. It wants us to go to the geothermal plant. Uh... Okay. So, ooh, waypoints. There's one in the cannery. This is just going to lead me straight to him. What are we going upstairs? Am I trespassing? Free stuff. Terminal access. Company notifications. From the office of Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. Symptoms of the infection have now reached a critical mass. I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier. And as spacers, we are expected... Oh, pardon me. We are expected to face up to reality. And the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering from the symptoms of the incipient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and for your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recapitulates spiritual weakness. Ha, huh, okay. Infect everybody. That'll work. And some stuff, some things, some free bits, and some pieces. Hello. Oh, you have a name. What's your name? Phyllis Granger. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Um, I'm guessing you're the foreman? Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Yes, you are foreman Granger? Besides, by the point, how about... Yes. I'm here to collect your gravesite fees right away. Thank you. Shit. Silas still on about that? Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Not my problem. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Oh! You have to pay for your neighbor's gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. You're not a relative. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. You weren't even... You just said he shot what? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Whoa! Can't imagine why. 
The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Oh. I mean, it must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. You said... Yeah, your closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Oh, that sucks. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Right. Okay. Sure. I mean, technically in this day and age, it is classed as like murder. It is murder of another, well, like of self. That's why technically it's illegal, but it's not like anyone's going to get arrested for it. Um. I mean, what are they going to do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. But you didn't? Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Right. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Phyllis. Hello. Oh, no. They're sprats, because they're space rats. And, uh... I feel like they're a special ingredient. What, uh... What quest am I on? Which one did I end up picking? Oh yeah, the three volumes. Um... Let's talk to somebody else in town about the gravesite fees. Mmm, delicious space rats. Yeah, that's it. You know it. Got it. Heads down. Someone see me? Mine. Hmm. Alright, so we got a couple more people. That's the doors. Oh, I thought yes, this was Mr. Pub. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. This is the unique one, yeah? Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. Yeah, man. That's me. And every bit's no. Take it easy, bud. I'm not a marauder. There a reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Mm hmm Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? No, not Mr. Thompson. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Hmm. Why are you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Yeah, man. I'm a RPG protagonist. That's what we do. You mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait! <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. 
Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man. Depends what you need. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Um, I have a couple of questions about it. I'll do what I can. Are there guards? You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Ah. What can you tell me about them? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Fair enough. And what's stopping you from buying medicine? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. So if you're too sick, they won't treat you? More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. That's the same thing. Well, I think I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? Sure, man. Why not? You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Is there anything else that I should know about the community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Okay. I mean, you're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know? I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Yeah, he's gone. All right, well, before I leave, I need to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Okie dokie. I'll leave you be. Bathroom. I just do for a mistake working for Abernathy. Why? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. Ew. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. I mean, he's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychoschematic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Is that a euphemism? Does he have butt spiders? Besides, what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Is everyone in town a criminal? Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. I mean... He's paying me for my trouble. Can you match the offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Okay. Too easy. That's all I can ask of you. Sounds good. Thank you. I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant.
yeah, I saw that. Don't don't stop now and just be like, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Hello. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? Yep. I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. I could be naked. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Um, I could show you my hands. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Right. So you prepare your remains for what, burial? Burial, in the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Mm, like the Old West. Speaking of burials, Silas sent me to collect your fees. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. No, no, no. Pay the money. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I mean... Don't need to be too hard on yourself. I'm sure they'll... Like, you're a barber. I would hope that your... Skills are useful. I have to be. If only to prepare myself for my inevitable dressing down at the hands of corporate. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. No, no. Wait, what do you mean? Why would your medical rights be revoked? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I mean, I'll let you know if I think of anything, I guess. Much obliged. The fuck am I supposed to do about him? What do you got? What could we use? Hey, Pavati, come here for a sec. That was you. Conrad, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. The company's going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Space's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his, in his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just stick around and pry him out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet and then use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you reckon? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Wiggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Wow, so she didn't pay it either. Damn. Splash resistant laboratory outfit. Fine. And a guard that has also ceased being... Not a corpse. Is that it? Is that what's in here? What's in here? Free sliced bread! And fish sticks. Hey. What can I do for you? Uh. 
Um, I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth to pay for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? Phyllis told me. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. We dig him up. They're probably worth a few bits. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. You sure about this? I'm sure that I have no other choice. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. I'm told that Eugene uh, offed himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Oh, Abernathy said that he'd taken a whole bunch of Adrena time and it didn't do anything for him. That's horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, we've got to go and get box of meds and I might as well go talk to to Ludwig down here Silas is out here where's, where's Ludwig oh he's down that way is the stealing of the meds thing a separate quest is it no oh, it is Out in the opposite direction because of course it is i'll just fast travel over there after i run down here nope again uh, do do? Oh, i was gonna jump off then i'm like now nah, i'm just gonna break all my ankles all of them hey hey Bring us honor, soldier. Yeah, man. Um, I need your gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Yeah, man. Sure. 100%. I'm sure he did. He's, uh, he's asking for a little extra to furnish the resistance with uh, mechanical repellent. Mechanical repellent? A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Yeah, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. Okay. That's good. Bye. You know, I, the part of me is like, oh, But then the other part of me is like, yeah. Uh, all right, what do we got? What do we got? So we got... Light Assault Rifle. Long Guns. Heavy Ammo. You do this. Pristine one doesn't do any extra damage. It just is worth more.
28. That's only 18. Oh. Oh, I thought this assault rifle was... Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll just... I'll sell a couple of them. Um, Armour-wise... Let's break down this one. And this one. And this one. And that one. And that one. And that one. Okay. This is good. This is good. Fast travel. Fast travel, dingus. Come on. We're going to... No, no, come on. Come on, figure it out. No, over here. A little bit further. Come on, just... And you're not. Dude. Fast travel there. Didn't want to sit on it, and it did. Mantis Swarm. Oh. Tiny bugs. To the community center. Manta pillar. Everything mantis? Shh. Well, I'm told. I do this. People don't get properly alerted to me. I guess they'd be awfully close. What's that noise? Ow. Bullets. Are there grenades in this game? Ow. Stop that. That's the last of them. Good. Hmm. Those noises worry me. Salt tuna. If the ocean and rivers are the heart and veins of Emerald Vale, then salt tuna is our highly profitable blood. These meaty fish live in the ocean and migrate upstream during mating season. Salt tuna are semelparous which means they perish after a single reproductive episode. That's when our trusty Spaces Choice harvesters scoop up their corpses to be cleaned, processed, canned, and delivered straight to your dinner table. Post-coitus. Do you reckon they're uh, rabid? I reckon they're rabid. Nope, they're not rabid. Never mind. What the hell? Are they bully mong? Well, that's. They look like bully mong. Primals. This display, fashioned to resemble a pair of mighty primals, required extensive field research. Let us have a moment of silence for the researchers who gave their lives in the pursuit of authenticity. Well, all right. These are the dogs. Canid. Beta lupus familiaris. Canids can be found all over Emerald Vale in two distinct varieties, domesticated and feral. Feral canids hunt in packs, while domesticated canids can be loyal companions. It is important to remember that the canid is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution. Okay. 
This is fun. Coming soon, the Manti Queen. Feast your eyes on the great frilled Manti Queen, sovereign of her nest, imported from the wilds of Terra One to thrill and excite your imagination. There's nothing in there. Just a rock. I'm sure that a Manti Queen will be fine. Hacker, hacker, hacker. Encode first aid keycard. Yeah, alright. Thank you for choosing Space's Choice. History of Emerald Vale exhibit. Synopsis. The history of Emerald Vale. Once complete, will display the proud her heritage... I'm going to cough. <clears throat> <coughs> the history of Emerald Vale, once complete, will display the proud heritage of our settlement for generations to come. Decorating the main hall of our noble community center, this elaborate diorama of memorabilia of our settlement's founding will embody the hard-working spirit of our space of family. The centerpiece of this grand exhibit will be a taxidermied Manti Queen, erected with our, within our main lobby as a sign of the civilization's victory over nature itself. Director Pickett. Okay. Special choice. So I'm assuming, like, from the way that everything's worded, the fact that they do guns, armor, tuna cans, you name it, that it is... Hello. Get out of here, little buddy. Um, that they're like a, you know, mega conglomerate, we do everything type of company. Which we do have a few of today, but they trick us. They trick us by renaming themselves depending on the products. They have branches and shit that are like, well, it's different. Ooh, Antique Saber. I'll have you. That sounds fun. No. Hmm? Oh, hi. That's smart. Hello. Yeah, you said that last time. Forgive me if I do not believe you. Is this supposed to be like an old timey room or? Difficult to tell. Whatever it is, shit went down in this room. Like, not just recently, but prior to that. Medical box? Vending machine discovered. Plain and pure water. Now 99% water. All the stuff that I'm looting now, not actually looking at what any of it is. I will have to sit down and have a bit of a sesh as a bit of a side episode, I think. Where I go through and have a look at all the different items and see which ones are good. I might even do it. I might even do it off stream or off recording or whatever. Uh, and just educate myself on the items because there's a lot. There's a lot of shit. I love vending machine. See, now I'm starting to get a bit of cash. So, it'd be 3,600 to buy all, no, it'd be 1,800 to buy all of them, and then I would be broke. So we got a few weapons, three boring stuff, boring armor. Actually, I could sell this, it was worth a bit of cash. The rest of the stuff will probably break down. Ace. 
As far as the armor is concerned. Hmm. I'm gonna buy some elite troop, troop armor. Gone then. And then. Equip it. Eh. Hey. I'm gonna find a workbench or break some of the other stuff down. Actually, you. Parvati. <laughs> Seven armor, five tech skill. Nine armor, five tech skill. Kind of like a base set of gear. I think it looks cool. We'll leave it with that for now. But I'm going to switch out a helmet. And then... I'm going to put on the helmet. Because this is a banded helmet as well. I'm going to put on the helmet so that I'm wearing... Not banded gear anymore. And people will stop being like, Why are you dressed like a bandit? Like, shut up. Can't help it. Bard? How dare you. Uh, aha, medical room. Up in. Got to be some stuff in here, right? I suppose the quest items in here. Duff. Duff. How are you supposed to get in here if you couldn't hack the computer? Hmm. I guess you could have probably picked the door or something. It's hard to tell, like, what is... Lootable or not? I did start going around this way and then I stopped and turned back the other way. Hello. Hey, you doing you little shit. Spacer's Choice. Terminal Accent. Welcome, Director Pickett. From I. Rosenberg. Everyone, the keycard encoder in the lobby's back up and running. Hopefully it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting keycards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a keycard from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose yours. Spacer's Choice property. L. Trammell. Please stop. Director Pickett. I must lodge a formal complaint. Your obsession with this Manta Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up development on the entire exhibit. This has to stop. Hunters and trackers. You Pickett, please stop. Hello, Mr. Pickett. Letter is to update you regarding your request for one adult Manta Queen. As you remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. For your approval, we deployed a team of highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. Wait. Oh, I thought it said one living. Okay. Please expect an invoice from our office including the cost of the gravesite fees, as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested, partially or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, Hunters and Trackers Limited, partnered with the Wildlife Eradication Society, a wholly owned subsidiary of Universe Defense Logistics. Hunters and Trackers Limited. Teaching the fauna of Halcyon the cruel realities of existence. Right. I like it. 
They're specifically a hunting company. So the right control armor is, uh, I don't really need to buy what I'm currently wearing. Because now I have other armor that I could have worn, I guess. Take it. Easy. That's got a first aid room key as well. We had options, is what you're saying. Alright, let's go upstairs. Knock, knock. Hmm. Not really much up here. Ooh, guide to mechanical engineering. That's the other thing I was here for. I forgot about that. Some good stuff from Robert. Thank you very much. Oh, the last sip. Eid Marauder. And that goes back down there. I thought his office would be up here. Is it just all one big office, is it? I thought it would be like, and then a little side office is his office. Okay. Huh. No. Yeah, but, yeah, can I fast travel from here? Oh. No. Oh. Maybe? No. No more redeeming good stuffs? So, well, until I get up and get another another good stuff thing. Wait. Uh that's my ship. Borst worst? Oh, gross. <laughs> That's so foul. Yeah, I got a feeling the old mate's losing the plot. Hello. I've got some time. Yeah. Uh, what do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Hmm. Well, I've got the medicine you're after. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Um. Never? It's a bit harsh. Let's leave me something to remember you by. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. I'm curious, though. Who are you going to give the medicine to? Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Okay, so not giving it to the crazy old man that was probably on his way out anyway and is probably also suffering from psychosis or delusions or paranoia or all of the above. We have managed to treat Silas, the gravedigger, and Amelia, the bartender, and others. 
That's good. All right, I'll leave you be. We level up. Promoted. Promoted. I've been feeling pretty low these days. What's this place? I don't know how you feel. I've never Hello. actually been in here. Seemed scary from the outside. Okay. All right, we're going to go talk to Silas. I think. I don't have a waypoint for the third book. It's just out there somewhere. In the big bad world. He said one used to be in the town of Edgewater. And then Pavati said... Oh, my dad had one in the town of Edgewater. Are they referring to the same one? Hey, Miss Parvati. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this fella. I'm a fella. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Her dad. What are you talking about? You talking about her dad? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Uh, yeah. Um, we need to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? Well... I read a letter from Phyllis, and she mentioned digging him up for his gold teeth. Yeah. Funny thing. Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. Uh-oh. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away. Vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. I'll keep an eye out for them, I guess. Let me know if you find anything. Hmm. But about the fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? No, all done. Paperwork, fees, and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's going to take some getting used to. Yeah. I, uh... I went out of my way for you, hey. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Okay. Well, I was hoping for something a little bit more tangible than that, but that's fine. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Yeah. Um, also, Abernathy is quite sick. Um, uh, He was trying to hide his illness. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. Yeah. I mean... He was pretty convinced that you already knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Oh, well. Uh, also. Yeah? Have you heard any news about the Hope? The, the colony ship? The colony ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you talking about that old rumor? No. Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. Well. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Uh. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a rumor. I'm, I'm from it. I'm, I'm living proof of it. All right, easy now. No need to get your hackles up. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Okay. Look, I don't really understand. When I went to sleep, they said the colony would be expecting us. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. Why? Why would there be trouble? Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. If 
Frankly, neither do I. All right, we'll change the subject then. Something I can do for you? Yeah, I got a question. Yeah? I should go. <laughs> uh, what do I currently have marked? What is that? What are you? Oh, it keeps taking me back to the power station. Power station. Find a book. Done everything else. Right. Ah! You're very close. Well then I suppose... We should go to the power station. I think I might sell some stuff first. Let's sell some bits and pieces and then we'll go to the power station. Sell stuff, do inventory stuff, and then stuff. Sounds good? Sounds good. Yep. Yep. The double jump's weird because it's not, it's not actually a double jump. It's like a lunge. Okay. Inventory wise, I don't have anything special. Ooh. Tactical shotgun. That could be cool. Sawn off shotgun? Hey, we got some cool stuff. Um Okay. Use workbench, yes. Break down, yes. Uh why do you do this? Why do you resort yourselves? It's so annoying. I thought I'd need the shovel. Zone off seems cool. Twenty-four by eight, or fourteen by twelve. So. What's that? 140, 168, or 1, shit, almost 200 anyway, almost 200, 6 in the mag, hmm. Uh, break down, break down. Break down. And repair some stuff with parts. It doesn't cost me anything as far as... Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The vending machines here. Yeah. Just here. Alright. We can sell all junk. It's a couple hundred, that's alright. I don't believe I really have anything else that I want to sell. I've got heaps of meds and stuff. I don't need the smokes. Or the weapons uh, sway. So many things. A lot of mods too, actually. Now available, you can now purchase restric restricted stock. Yeah. Reinforced armor, extra armor, mag picks. Oh, they're cheap too. They're only 16. Yeah, man. All of them. Give me that shit. Same with your hacking tools. Yeah, go for it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's great. They're cheap. I like it. One of these auto mag pistol. Hmm. 
Cool stuff. So this one then. For Spacer's choice. Uh, mods. Yeah, more of them. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get flush with this shit. Let's see if we got some of the other ones as well. What else we got? Yeah, give me them. Done. And all your shunts too. Perfect. Ooh, pickaxe. Hmm. What are you? Grenade launcher? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, we are sweet with picking locks now. Hell yeah. We can pick all of the locks. Damn, we must have... Hold on. We've got a few, fair few then. Yeah, that's good. That's very nice. Oh yeah, we got points to put in too. Okay, hold on. Wait, why do I have a negative? Oh, the elite troop armor is... A negative? Is it? Oh, it was negative five to stealth, was it? That probably makes sense. I was wondering why it was a plus five to stealth. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um. Okay, well, let's... Hold on. Let's... Uh... Second time number of bypass shunts needed. Yeah. Oh, we can pickpocket when we get to 40 for this, too. Yeah, go on, then. Just dump, dump all 10 into there. Okay. Apply. And then in our perks, we have another perk. We're going to get five perks before we... Okay. Um. Fast travel while encumbered. 50 kilos carrying capacity, armor rating, damage per floor, crit chance, weapon, armor durability loss, sprint speed, walk speed, damage while alone, max meter, 50 base health, cheaper vendor prices, yes, that would have been helpful two minutes ago. I don't think I have a save from two minutes ago. Lesson learned. this skybox is nice like it's a lot it's not subtle and the darkness of space is very not dark but it looks cool very much looks cool Oop. yeah I like it but VOD viewers that brings us to the end of this chapter in the next one, we're going to decide which side of the the town we're going to side with, whether or not it's going to be the town itself, and we're going to try and get the deserters to come back to town, or if we're going to cut power to the town and have the whole place fall apart. So, if you're watching this tomorrow, 10 years from now, or long after I'm gone, you're awesome, and I am sure that you'll hear from me again. Catch you next time. See ya.